So all eyes are on Khabib Nurmagomedov. Daniel, as your former teammate, makes his return to competition here tonight. A lot of us felt like this moment would not materialize. He's chasing 30 and 0 now. He's chasing 30 and 0. I mean, he's one of the only guys to get out of this thing clean. Nobody goes undefeated unless your name is Khabib Nurmagomedov. The guy has fought the best. He is a guy that lets you know what his intentions are, and he goes out there and he works the game plan. He's going to get in your face. He's going to try to overwhelm you with his wrestling. And you look at his boy, Hasbulla, in the corner. Habib Nurmagomedov is looking for a big night. The Dagestani social media legend has Bula Magomedov in the corner of Habib Nurmagomedov tonight. Khabib Nurmagomedov enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Well, if you want to talk about a division being the glamour division in this modern era, maybe it's lightweight, and this is the man they are all chasing, the undisputed king at 155 pounds. He's the champion of the world, the lightweight champion, a very difficult belt to capture. This is one of those titles that when you start, it seems like the journey is so long, it's so daunting, because those champions are tremendous. This guy knew from day one that one day he would hold that championship belt. He got there, and he has been defending it valiantly. He's a tremendous champion, and he loves the opportunity to once again prove that he's the best. And it is interesting to look back at some of his early days in the UFC compared to this version. Night and day, we'll see how it goes for the champion here tonight. Tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending. Lightweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. Herb Dean is your referee. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Khabib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Not resting in the clinch. Being very active and landing a beautiful punch here. That's a nice strike there by Nurmagomedov. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing the ball. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw in combinations. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Too easy for Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you 
that he's going to take you down. And he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up. And right away, he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Making all these shots count. This is where he wants to be. Nicely done. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Nirvago Meadow. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now some separation from his clutch position. Lands the jab. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game. His ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches and bunches? Punches and bunches. He landed upside his opponent's head over and over again. Some separation. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He gets to the city Galatide. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. He's back in the clinch. Let's see what he does now. Beautiful right hook counter. Takedown defense holds up. Big knee land. Him with the jab on the counter. So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, shades of the godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere Ooh. smiling watching this guy land from the top position. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, side control now. Going to try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Khabib's going for that arm triangle. Let's see if he has it. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, somehow he got out. That was beautiful. Look at how he brought his hips up in the air. Used his momentum to swing himself back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Nirvago Meadow. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so next round is underway after he came very close to submitting his opponent in that previous round. He came very, very close to getting that finish, but he wasn't able to get that little extra squeeze to get the finish. But it's okay. Continue to try and put yourself back in those positions to get the job done. Well, 
Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA. Gotta like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early in DC. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, so he continues to land, and not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing to stand and trade and proving to be able to well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take you down very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking, and he is on point with his striking. They've worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills, and it's showing right now. Cover full guard there. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Push him off. Push him off. Well, he's got his back now. Nice transition. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Nurmagomedov's back in full mount. Oh, he got to the spot. Posture's up now and lands a vicious head strike. <laughs> Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Body position, yo. Big elbow there, Lance. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meta. All right, so some high level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. There. I love I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're gonna get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. I think he's got it, it's deep. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too it is the most secure position in fighting you get an underhook on one side a half guard on the other and then you just go to work it's the safest position especially for a wrestler trying to pass the guard here but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard oh good shot landed there from the bottom all right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Ready? Come on. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Khabib's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. And he gets the single leg takedown. Inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Nermago Medov. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? 
some oh. big punches oh. running down here, picking the spots well, and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead in the fight right now? Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here yeah. we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice, and works out for him now. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Narago Medov. Good, solid strike on the ground. And very effective with the ground and pound. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Narago Medov is able to transition back to side control now. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Constantly a moving target. Just over three minutes to go. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nermago Medov's back in full night. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish the technique. That was a slick transition. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. That's a nice low single takedown. Trying to recover full guard there. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Lands the grounded pound strike here. He's got to be careful here. Get the ball here. Yep, got to be very careful there. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Change of the position. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Get side now. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submitted. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Now 
drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, good defense. Yes. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> Yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very Ready difficult fight. to deal with. Like, if he Ready. absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat you through that cut. I'm just saying, he's got a big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. This is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the power of the guy inside of the octagon. He passes to half. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. I mean, these wrestling transitions are beautiful. These guys are really getting after it. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, the submission defense holds up. He gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, hard ground and pound strike there. I believe that one opened him up. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Takes his back now. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nomago Medov. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Nomago Medov right back to the full mount. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. Yeah, right? I don't really, I don't even want to fight no more, but I, I do love uh, a little damage. Single leg takedown, well played. Big right hook there by the champ. He passes the half guard. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. 
Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Khabib's in half guard now. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, significant swelling now in and around that left eye. Might even be starting to close. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound shot. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the ground. He's having his way with him here. 30 seconds to go now. Good work from the top here by Nermago now. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Gotta think his vision's compromised now. As he should, right? He sees the blood poured into his opponent's eyes. His opponent now is squinting, trying to maintain his line of sight. He has got to continue to go at that cut right now. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we ahead. have arrived at this fifth and final round. He's going to the jab on the counter here, blocked by Nermago Meadow. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. in the position, might still be able to get a submission here. There's the foul! Coming up huge tonight. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Here's Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by tap out and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Khabib Nurmagomedov.
All right, so a lot of fighters have suffered from a similar fate against Khabib Nurmagomedov. You heard it there from Buff. He gets it done by submission tonight. I mean, this is his world. When you're having to grapple with Khabib Nurmagomedov and spend extended periods of time on the ground, you're constantly under duress. You're constantly in danger. And Khabib finds his position, gets a submission victory that he wanted so badly, and truly propels himself towards the top of his division. And he said he might have been able to win a kickboxing match here tonight. 